Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of some Building Big with Germ. How's everybody doing today? In the last episode, we came over here and built up that church over there. And I've been doing a little bit of work off camera since that episode. Uh, we did a live stream where I worked out a little bit of decoration out on the side of it and worked out kind of the layout for the interior. So this is what this area is looking like. I think it's looking pretty cool. We got the stone brick double slabs in our texture pack to get the small bricks. Uh, and then a bunch of flowers up through here. And then this is kind of what the layout is going to be in here. I'm thinking I might change up the floor a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of this andesite with this stone. And I'm also not a huge fan of these pillars. I think I'm going to try to make them a little bit thinner. Probably, probably doing something like this somehow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how. I'm, I'm kind of working this out right now for the first time. Uh, so something like this. It'll probably be one high going all the way up. I don't know, we'll end up working that out later on, probably off camera, but yeah, that's kind of the idea I'm thinking for this this room. So we are going to be working on this interior today, but before we do that, I want to head into the nether and try to get our first netherite. I would really like to head back to the Dyrite castle at some point in the near future, uh, and if you don't know, my way of unlocking like our old areas uh, is I need to get a netherite block for each one. So a netherite block for the diorite castle, netherite block for the um, the White Falls castle, the sandstone one. So we are gonna head into the nether now. I need to gather up some sand, I think, because I wanna use the TNT method to try to find some of that uh, ancient debris. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather that up and anything else I might need. And we'll be back in just a little bit once we get into the nether. All right, let's go ahead and craft up. I just wanna gather up a bunch of sand. Let's craft up a bunch of TNT. We got 17 blocks. Okay, uh, hopefully that can at least expose one or two. Uh, it won't be too much, but I want to at least start it out with this, with, with just a little bit of TNT. Oh, we got five more there, okay. Okay, not too bad, we got 22 then. So yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. So let's go ahead and head over to the portal now and head into the nether. All right, we are down here in the nether now. Oh boy, I'm trying to remember how I've done this in the past. I haven't done any netherite mining in a really long time. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dig a tunnel like this, and then we'll lay out a bunch of TNT like this. We'll go, I think four blocks apart. One, two, three, four. We'll try that, we'll see, we'll see if that works. All right, then we'll light that, and let's see what happens. Okay, that went all right. I don't see any nether, oh, there we go. There's some ancient debris right there. Our first ancient debris, nice. All right, now we need, let's see, we need four for one ingot, so that times nine. We need 36, 36 ancient debris, is that, hang on, is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll need 36. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on uh, doing this, just trying to excavate out a bunch of terrain here. And we'll be back in a little bit once we are done. All right, we are back and I've been down here mining for, I mean, I did a couple hours yesterday. I did a couple hours today of mining for netherite. I've got nine ancient debris on me right now. I've got a lot more back at the house, uh, but I am a little lost in the in these tunnels. Uh, but I did want to show you really quick. I've been working on the lava texture. I think it's looking really, really cool. I like it a lot. I do think I still want to make some minor tweaks to it still, but uh, it's looking much better than what it was before, I think. Uh, but let's see if we could try to find our way out of here really quick. So down that way is where I was just mining. I think over this way should be where I need to be, but I don't understand why there's this tunnel going through this way. That's kind of strange. Okay, yeah, I am very, very lost. I have no idea where I need to be right now. Uh, I thought, oh wait, okay, yes I do. I know where we're at. All right, good. Okay, this is the way out then. You can see all that is where I've been mining, all down here, all down here. Yeah, I've been doing a lot, a lot of exploding. I've been using the beds, the beds method. Uh, let's go ahead, let's get rid of these last two beds really quick. So let's just go this way. I've been going up to 16, digging in a little bit into the wall. And then I do the bed here, nope, the bed here. And then do a little cobblestone wall like that. 
go ahead and eat really quick and boom any netherite doesn't look like it not on this one okay let's go ahead and do one more really quick and boom 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 nothing all right i'm gonna go ahead and head back into the overworld now all right we're back in the house now and let's see how much debris we got we have 30 30 ancient debris actually 31 because we have one netherite scrap that i already smelted but let's go ahead i'm gonna smelt up the rest of this right here and let's see how many ingots we can make from this all right we are back we got the netherite smelted up i also went and got some gold some nether gold ore to smelt up and let's go ahead and craft this up so we can make seven ingots it looks like now i was kind of working towards getting a netherite block for today's episode so we could head back to one of the old kingdoms but i think what i'm just going to go ahead and do is upgrade one of my tools I am kind of needing my pickaxe upgraded. So let's go ahead, I think, I think I'm gonna have to craft up a smithing table. But let's go ahead and upgrade that to another right pick really quick. All right, gotta remember how to make a smithing table. Let's see, smithing, we need, oh, we only need four planks. Okay, so we can do that. Boom, and boom, there we go. We got our smithing table. Now we're going to come back down here and I think we're going to put this right here, right under the uh, stone cutter, just for now. We may move it at some point. We may move it to a different building at some point, um, but let's go ahead and grab our pickaxe, put it in there with the ingot, and there we go. Our first netherite tool in this, in this season. Now we do have six more. We could upgrade some of our other stuff, but I think I'm just going to hold off on that. Uh, I don't think there's a huge difference in attack attack damage with the diamond sword or with another right sword we got nine attack damage there and that is 10 there okay that may be worth upgrading to that but we're gonna save it for now i could honestly probably get a better diamond sword before we do that anyways uh so we're gonna hold off on that but i think now what i want to do i want to head over to the church and start working on the interior for that all right so i've reworked the pillars a little bit i think they're looking much much better they're not quite uh, what the pillars would look like in an Austrian church, I don't think. Uh, I think what we had before would have been much more accurate and having like archways in between them, but I think this is going to look much more interesting for uh, Minecraft because what we had before, I think it would have ended up looking pretty boring, but uh, let's go ahead and start working on the ceiling here. I think we're just going to use plain stone. I wish we had, I wish we had like a stone that was the same color as smooth stone, but uh, we don't, so I think we're going to just go ahead and use a regular stone. So let's go ahead and get up here with the scaffolding. Is this four blocks apart? It is. That's strange. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, you know what? I'm just realizing now, like, all of these pillars are not centered right. Like, these ones right here, they're a block away from this wall, and these are three blocks apart. And then this is six blocks apart here. And then four blocks apart, and then this is three blocks from the wall. Okay, so I'm going to have to redo this, I guess. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick, and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Got them kind of fixed now. These middle ones are five blocks apart now, and so are these outer ones. Well, at least this side. This side is still three blocks apart, but uh, without it looking too weird, I think that's going to be the best option for us. So I think what I'm going to do now, I think we're going to go ahead and jump into a little time lapse of me working out the ceiling. It's going to take quite a bit of time, I think. So I think it's best that I work that out on a, uh, on a time lapse. But really quick, I do want to go ahead and work out the archways in the center area. So let's go ahead and try to do that really quick. Uh, so let's grab regular stone. We got our stairs and slabs. I think we got everything we should need. So we're going to go, I think, stair there and stair there. And then we'll do full blocks above that, like here. And then a slab in the middle there. And I think we're just going to be doing the same thing on each side here. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. And let's hop down and take a look at that. Whoops. Yeah, okay. I think those archways are going to be pretty good. And we're going to have like a rounded ceiling in there. I think I did something similar to what I'm going for on Legacy in the church I built over in my Tuscan city on there. Uh, so that's kind of be going to be the idea. I may have to go look at that church to see what exactly I did there. But we're also going to have a chandelier hanging down in the middle here and probably one hanging down in the middle here towards the back of the church. But I'm going to go ahead and get to work on at least the ceiling and then we'll be back in a little bit and we may work out one of the chandeliers together. 
All right, we're back, and this is what the ceiling is looking like so far. We are going to be making some more additions on the sides, uh, but I need to get the walls in first. And I'm sure you noticed I didn't have a time lapse of me building up this. This was a really hard thing to uh, show on the replay mod because I had the scaffolding all up and it was kind of just covering the entire ceiling. So I decided just to scrap that. And we're going to probably do a time lapse of me working on the walls. So what I'm thinking for that, I think I want to do either this or spruce along the bottom. And then we're probably going to have another block coming along this way like this. Uh, probably something different, probably like spruce planks. Uh, and then I'm kind of thinking the walls will be made out of this, this white terracotta. I think that would be pretty fitting for the area. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. And then uh, we'll come back once we got that done and see how it looks. All right, we are back and here is what the church interior is looking like. I decided to go for just stone walls for the walls because I tried out the uh, the terracotta and the wood and I just didn't really like how it looked contrasting up against this other stone. So I decided to go for stone walls uh, for the rest of it and then went ahead and finished up some parts of the ceiling. It's not finished on these sides. Uh, just yet. I'll be sure to get those done off camera. But we've got these nice chandeliers in here, which I think are looking really, really cool. Mixing the soul lanterns and the regular lanterns. But now, what I want to do really quick, just to end off this episode, is I want to come in here, we'll do something like this all along here with stripped, stripped spruce uh, logs. And then we're going to surround that with slabs like this. And we'll put fences all along the top of those. And then back here, we're just going to fill this all in with planks. There we go. Just like that. And then we're going to have uh, stairs on either side here for them to get up. And I'll have to fix up this wall and this floor back here later on as well. Uh, but we're going to do a lectern right there. Two stripped oak logs there and two trap doors right there. And eventually I probably will put a book in there. But for now, that gets the job done, I think. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna craft up some brown beds. And these are gonna be our, um, what are they called? Our pews. And we're gonna put them one, two here, and then back here, I think we're gonna go uh, all along here, almost all the way to the back. There we go, just like that. I'm also thinking I wanna do, uh, let's see, do I have much spruce? I do have a little bit. Let's craft up some signs, some spruce signs. And I think we're going to use these as the backs of the of the pews. Okay, I think I crafted up way too many of these, but we're going to do this all along the back of each one of these. And all right, there we go. That's looking really cool. I like that quite a bit. So something I am going to be doing that I can't finish in this episode because I am almost completely out of time. I'm going to be adding some banners as curtains along the side of this window. I think I'm going to swap out a lot of these windows for some different looking uh, stained glass windows. And then I'll do some decoration along these walls as well. Uh, I think I'm going to be putting some paintings up on these walls here. But we'll probably have to figure out some other stuff that we can use to decorate this room as well. But unfortunately, I think that is going to have to do it for this episode. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>